Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley. Been a little wet on the west side, especially up in Montgomery County, an easy inch of rain there around uh, Lake Conroe, down through Fort Bend, Wharton County, some showers as well. Harris County, not so much, had some light rain into chambers earlier. Here's a look at the future cast, and we continue to see the chance for showers coming in at five through about six, seven o'clock over toward Liberty County. But for Harris County, it's looking pretty quiet, which is certainly good news, the reason being, Friday football frenzy. We've got that going on tonight. 20% chance of rain at 7, 10% by 9, humid and damp as we go toward 11. So less and less as time goes on. Keep your fingers crossed. There is this big system that's back out just south of Louisiana. So there's lots of moisture that's going to try to move our way. And this is an upper level low that's going to spin around. And as it does, right down toward South Texas, that's going to bring in this chance of rain to us. So you'll see this swirl here especially along the coast, the chances of rain are looking pretty good. That's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We continue right into, say, 5, 6 o'clock into Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. So the rain chances are there at an easy 50, 60 percent over the weekend, especially if you are at the coast. By the way, Tropical Storm Gaston will continue to move rapidly around that high pressure system. May reach 110 mile an hour winds, but you'll notice how it really makes us hook. So that's just for ocean interests. And that is it. All eyes have been on this 30% chance now of, of maybe something developing down here in the southern Bahamas. And the system I just told you about, there's a 10% chance to develop, but by the time it gets to the Texas coast, it'll, that'll be over. So I'm not really worried about that at all, uh, just academic. But look at this visible satellite, just to get your bearings. Here's Cuba down here. There's Nassau and Grand Bahama. And so if you look closely, you can see this flow coming in from the northeast and then this flow coming in from the south. And so this is where you would look for a circulation for this tropical system. That's where they've been looking at it. They were going to fly today. They canceled that. But that's where we would look for it. But all the thunderstorms are way over here, way to the south way to the east and not where you would find the circulation. So it cannot, it's just not getting its act together, which is good. The warm water's there. It's 90 degrees there around Nassau. The water is 88 to 90 in the Gulf. So all you need is 80, plenty warm. It's had a bit of wind shear, although that's been relatively low. You can see the green, so let's call it medium wind shear that we've had today. As we go through the weekend, we'll see more blue through here, which is low. So the wind shear, should die down. The water temperature is there. Chance that we could see some development. You just never say never. Spaghetti plots really are worthless in this case because we just don't have anything to latch on to. Um, in fact, one goes way down to the south. I know if you come toward Texas, these were actually going toward Brownsville yesterday, and now they started to move back off to the right and will continue to move probably toward Florida. That looks like the best bet. The European future cast, the American does nothing with it. The European still tries to make it out here in Miami and you know maybe heading off into the East Coast. But neither one of these models are really interested in this system. There's the possibility, regardless of what it does, we could see some heavy rain, especially the Bahamas to South Florida and then back off of the coast of Florida. We're looking at maybe six to eight inches of rain. So we'll keep an eye on it. This high pressure is what's been guiding it more or less. We're going to have big high pressure building in next week, which will keep this away from us and also warm it up and dry it out as we head toward the Labor Day weekend. Damp, humid, warm weather, bad hair weekend, that's for sure. Forecast is for 60% Saturday, Sunday, especially at the coast. 50% chance for some leftover showers on Monday, and then 30 and 20 for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we really build in this very hot, dry period, which of course is the Labor Day weekend. Can you believe we're already talking Labor Day? Have a safe weekend for this one, the last one of August. Get all of your weather anytime right here at clicktohouston.com slash weather.